Life is not all about appearances, how much you ate that day, how much calories you burned, or how skinny you look compared to others. Life is about learning to love yourself, loving the food you eat every day, and loving to move your body no matter how tired you are. Life is about enjoying every part of it, even the things you think don't matter at all. I learned this the hard way. And I learned that there is so much more to life than who I appear to be to others. So as I said, I'm going to talk about my journey and what I experienced with my body, with my health, with my fitness, with food, with calories and everything. Let's start when I was in between seven to 10 years old. Okay, so I was a little overweighted. Usually kids my age were not as big as I was. And it really didn't matter because I was growing, but I personally did not care. I was just happy with where I was. I ate fries, I ate chicken fingers, I loved sodas. I loved sodas. I loved candy. Like every time there was a candy store, we stopped and we bought candy. I loved ice cream. I personally still love sugar, so that's been so hard because sugar has been my thing. So yeah, it was just me hating water. I hated water. I never drank water. I just loved junk food and I hated, hated healthy stuff. I told myself that that was disgusting, that that was just what weird people ate. I think that I was that way because I was very anxious. I was anxious all the time. I wanted to be doing something. And instead of taking myself to go on a run, I decided to go to the kitchen and grab some food. So. I I was anxious all the time and I love food, so the combination of both just went perfectly with me. I didn't care what other people said about me. I was just happy with where I was. I love food. Food was my best friend and that was a coping mechanism for me. So a little bit forward in my 10 to 13 years old, I started to get very, very, very skinny. And to the point where it became a problem, I stopped eating the whole way. I only ate salads and drank water because that's what I knew was healthy. So at first it wasn't a problem because I was overweight so people really didn't care that I was losing weight it was like good but I looked very skinny instead of looking healthy I looked unhealthy but because I was extremely skinny so I started counting calories I started counting the things that I ate people started to get worried because I didn't eat at all in parties I didn't eat anything I was just focused on eating salads and drinking water I don't even know how I did that because I love sodas, I loved food and sugar, and I just cut it off. So I don't know how I did that. Unhealthy food was just my enemy now. It made me feel this kind of fat and excluded person from society, and that's why I stopped eating unhealthy foods. It was just not the unhealthy stuff. It was also the healthy. And I just told myself that those were wrong because they were gonna kill me. They were gonna make me fat. The only food that was my friend was a salad and water. So my parents started to get a lot, a lot worse and they decided to take me to a doctor, a nutritionist, to look at me, to give me a diet, to make me feel secure about my body. And she decided to see how much I weighed. I weighed less than 100 pounds. And a girl that is 13 years old should not weigh less than 100 pounds, at least for me, because I am very tall. I needed a lot more nutrients in my body. So she told me that I was very, very extremely skinny and that I needed to eat. So she gave me this diet, but it had rice, it had bread, it had potatoes, it had a donut once a week, it, it, it had ice cream once a week, and I was like, no, it's just gonna kill me. That That's gonna make me fat. And she gave me that and, and I tried to eat. I even measured stuff. Like I measured the amount of carbs I was gonna eat that day. And I had an app. I don't remember the name of the app, but I know that I measured stuff. And instead of eating like a donut, I ate other stuff like fruit that I told myself that it had the same amount of sugar and the same satisfaction and things like that. One day, my mom literally bought me McDonald's, like a bunch of fried chicken and a lot of French fries. And I was like, oh, you're gonna eat it because I'm not gonna eat it. And she was like, no, you are going to eat it. She forced me. She literally forced me to eat the chicken. And I was crying because I told myself that I was gonna get fat. And that's the moment that I realized when exercise comes into like the story. I thought that exercise made you skinny and it made you healthier. So I decided that I was gonna get into doing exercise. I started doing exercise here at home and then I decided that I was gonna go and get myself into a gym. So I did and I started running and running because I was not gonna take the risk of gaining the weight that I did. And the only reason 
reason and guarantee that I had was a gym since my parents were literally obligating me to eat. So I got into the gym and, and I was like exercising, exercising and all the time I wanted to do exercise and it became this obsession of, of me doing exercise. And the teachers at my school started to get worried because they've known me since kindergarten and, and now all of a sudden I'm, I'm very skinny. I lost 30 pounds in a month and I became this person who didn't even want to eat when there was a bake sale, when there were events at school. They noticed that and so they started sending me to counselors and they started to, to talk to me a lot and they even kept me from going to recess in order for me to analyze who I was and what was I doing. The moment that my school got involved, I felt weird. I felt like I was a problem to my parents and my school and my friends and my family. So I didn't feel weak. I felt very strong. When I was that skinny, I felt that I was so beautiful, that I was fitting in society so well that guys were gonna love me. And I was, I was amazed. I'm size zero, I'm size two, you know, that size is just legit for a skinny person. And I loved the way I looked. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I loved what I saw in the mirror. And if it weren't like for my parents or my family or my teachers getting worried about my size or like the, the way my clothes looked on me or how I looked, I would have just stayed the same. And when all of that happened, like I only ate salads. There was a time where I ate a salad from a restaurant and I don't know what happened, but I got salmonella. And and it was, it was horrible. My mom told me that I was never gonna eat a salad again because of that time. I had to spend a day at the hospital because of that because I wasn't receiving any nutrients that the salad was just catastrophic. It was so disgusting. And that moment I realized that I needed to change something. I needed to do something about my body that just eating salad wasn't healthy because of the way that I felt. I felt like I was going to die. And I knew that I needed to change something the moment that the salad was just not good for my body anymore. Let's fast forward from when I was 14 to where I am right now. So after like the whole story of the Salmonella thing, I realized that I needed to change. That I needed to be this accepting person of my body because seeing my family, my friends, my teachers, my school, everybody worried about me. It was just hard to see them do that for me because I thought that I wasn't doing anything wrong. But the moment they started asking all of these questions, you know, I realized that I needed to change because those are people that I love. Those are people that care about me. And if I was doing something right, they would have praised me. They would have told me that I was doing a great job, that it was amazing. But they said things that I didn't want them to say. So I started to change. I started eating. I never stopped counting calories until last year. So counting calories was just a thing for me. I stopped doing exercise as hard as I did. I knew that exercise was amazing, but that I couldn't take the risk to hurt myself. So I stopped doing the amount of exercise that I did, I told myself that I was gonna be careful with what I ate and not prevent myself to have fun because of what I ate. I started gaining weight and that was good. So yeah, I started like taking control of everything and that's when everything happened. That leads to today. Before COVID, I exercised three times a week in my gym and I ate very healthy Monday through Friday and on Sundays and on Saturdays, I decided that I was gonna eat a treat, that I was gonna have a little bit of fun and that every time that I went to a party I wasn't going to say oh no 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 cake anything that I really didn't want I was not going to eat the things that I wanted and that I was craving I was going to eat because it isn't about the food that you eat it's about the amount and how constant you eat that food right so I decided that I was going to do that and that helped me so much and I started like creating very aesthetic foods like healthy pancakes I do love ice cream I do love coffee I do love donuts and I do love chocolate so that's still a thing for me today. I don't count calories anymore and it wasn't healthy at all. Counting calories just makes you even worried about what you're gonna eat next or the amount of things that you're gonna eat next. And this is where I am today. Now I work out five times a week and I eat from Monday through Friday relatively healthy or on weekends I eat cake or I eat uh, dessert or something. It's very hard to fit in society when it comes to body image. Society makes you think that being skinny and and having the perfect body and being this very skinny with abs and a big butt and very big chest is gonna make you the perfect girl for every guy. And okay, 
okay, yeah, they look really pretty. I've seen them on Pinterest, on Instagram, on, on social media, and they actually do look pretty. But what we have to understand here is that not every body is gonna look the same. Maybe their genes are to be that skinny. I'm never gonna be the way those girls are. And I understood that. But just because you eat a donut and ice cream, you're not gonna get fat because of that. Yes, you're gonna be bloated. Of course, your body isn't used to that. But you're not gonna get fat because of that. And that's what I realized. I realized that my body isn't perfect. In the end, what matters is you know that you're being healthy, that you're doing exercise, that you're keeping yourself healthy, and that you are good, that you love yourself. You only have to be grateful for what your body does, right? So in the end, guys, it's just how you view yourself. I think that nobody cared the way that I looked five years ago. They don't care. I was growing up. I had seven years old. They have their own life to mind their business of. Learn to not listen to them because I know it's hard. I listen to what other people say a lot. So it's hard for me to say, but just ignore them. They are always going to comment on everything, even now. And they still have a lot of things to say. Just know that you have to please yourself. That's what matters. The moment that I stopped, stop listening to what society had to say. I am free. Literally, I'm free. And if people don't like you because of how fat or how skinny, shame on them because they're missing on a very, very nice person. So guys, love yourselves. And I learned the hard way. Don't ever punish yourself for not working out, for not eating healthy that day. That's okay. Just remember to eat the stuff that you want to exercise. You only have to please yourself, not anybody else. So please eat your healthy food, exercise, and yeah. I will be talking more in depth about other stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe. Of course, there's going to be a series about confidence, self-love, and about positivity. So I'm so excited about that. I love you all. And I guess I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.